One of the mo most important aspects of the game for the kids to understand is to try and anticipate what happens next. Because we're involved in a team game, most of the time they're spent on the pitch without the ball. But in order to be effective and to support their teammates, they've got to understand or see pictures of what may happen next. So a good exercise to do is to set out your team and position the ball in various parts of the pitch and then ask the kids for what happens next and to see how they all switched on. For example, if the ball comes to the right full and he's facing that way, what happens next? What are these guys going to do here, here? Okay. What's this guy going to do with the ball? If we've worked, for example, on an overlapping drill, well then, these guys will know there's a very good chance that ball is going to go there. He's going to overlap. Ball's going to go back in there. So they, they have an idea what happens next. So in this situation here, the left side of the midfielder is going to see that ball going there. So what happens next? Well, we work this. It's going to go there. He's going to go there. We'll go down the channel here. With the end result, is the ball's going to come into the box. So as soon as he sees the ball here with the right full, he's going to anticipate that and start working to get himself into the box. Now, he doesn't go straight off there, not looking behind him. He's watching that. But he knows what happens next, what should happen next. That ball is going to come in the box. The same way this guy here is going to get in the box. These are going to support. These are going to support. Another situation. Ball could be again back here. But instead of the player facing that way.